Hello Virgo, my name is Alison and you're with Healing Dove Tarot. Today we're going to have a look at the love energy surrounding you from the 15th of July until the 31st of July. So let's get started. You know, as an angel's message and guides, my higher self, I call upon you now to give me a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Virgo in love from the 15th of July to the 31st of July. Please show me what does Virgo need to know. Please let me be the voice. Thank you, Spirit. Oh, Virgo, Three of Swords. Two of Swords. A lot of mental energy. Queen of Wands. Fire sign, Woman. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Eight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune, King of Pentacles. Okay, Virgo, really interesting reading. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Swords. Okay, so the Ten of Swords um, speaks about reaching your limit. Now, I think if I'm correct, your last reading was all about taking that um, step, making that move, making the decision, okay? Um, and for some of you, I feel like um, you've either missed the chance <laughs> or you've been betrayed in some way. And I say that because I have the Three of Swords here, okay? The Three of Swords speaks about third-party interference. It literally is heartbreak. Um, and I, I do have in your recent past the, the Knight of Cups. So someone's made an offer of love and I feel like it's been denied. Um, Ten of Swords is that it's mental energy, right? It's just feeling that exhaustion. Um, sorry, that belongs there. But the Three of Swords coupled with the Queen of Wands could be a fire sign female that's caused you this heartbreak. I do, however, have Earth sign, um, Earth on the table as well. Um Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. So you could either be dealing with a, another earth sign or this could represent yourself or you're dealing with a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius or they have fire or earth in their chart in terms of rising. But the overarching message is there is some sort of betrayal and heartbreak here, potentially a third party situation, potentially just a heartbreak of someone that's turned you down. Um, and I say that because we have the two of swords here. So it's like a progression. It's like um, someone's made the choice, um, chosen to move on. Um, and then I see you emotionally moving on because we have the eight of cups. Okay. Now, look, if you didn't make a move and it's too late and that other person has moved on to someone else, don't worry about it because the wheel of fate is turning and it will turn in your favor. If you did make a move and you were shut down, um, again, no, it wasn't meant for you. Rejection is often a way of protection, okay? If someone has rejected you or if um, you've, if that door feels like it's closed, it's a, the universal way of telling you that's not the path for you, okay? Know this and know this well. It's something I hold close to my heart, but whatever is meant for you will never miss you, Okay? You are emotionally moving on from whatever the situation is. Fire sign or an earth sign. And you're moving on wounded. I have to call it as I see it, okay? There's a little bit of disappointment here. Now, um, for those of you that this doesn't resonate, um, you're not going through a heartbreak, you're completely single, there is no fire or earth sign, woman or man. Um, this could represent your past. This could be something that you're moving out with from your past. And I very much see the wheel of fate turning in your favor to an earth sign, okay, like yourself. Or if it's not an earth sign person coming in in terms of love for you, this is the wheel of fate turning in your favor for you, for you finding your groundedness and your purpose. Um, I've been doing a lot of personal readings lately and a common theme that's been coming up is about attracting love, okay? 
I think often what we miss in life is the understanding that um, when we search for love, we actually um, are not aligned to our true core, our true, pur our true purpose. And what that does is that actually acts as a repellent, right? So it pushes away what's meant to come for us. When we align ourselves to our purpose and when we align to doing what is the right thing for us, it raises our vibration. And when we have a high vibration, we attract light and light attracts love. Okay. So when you, the best way I can explain it in a non-spiritual term is like when you're rocking everything at life and everything feels like you're just winning, right? It's all aligned, like works, kicking butt, like you're, you're happy in your family life, like you, you've you got a great partner or you're dating someone awesome, you've got money in the bank, you feel secure. When all those things are aligned, the reason why they're aligned is because you're aligned to the universe and you're aligned to your purpose, okay? And when you vibrate in that energy, you are radiating at a certain frequency, at a certain light, okay? And what happens then is that's when you'll attract love. Now, you might not have all of those things absolutely perfect. And with Virgos, you do tend to lean on perfectionism. So be careful of that. But what I'm saying is, is that try to focus more on, on being your best self. When you focus on being your best self and your purpose and you're doing the right thing um, that brings you joy in relation to your purpose. And that could be your career. It could be working towards a new career. It could be helping people, whatever that is, then you will attract love. Okay. So if you are moving away from this, if this is a heartbreak that you're going through right now, if you're going through a breakup, I'm sorry, I feel your pain. Just know that better things are coming for you. The right thing that's meant for you is coming. If you are ending a negative cycle in your relationship, there could have been third party interference. Um, just know that emotionally moving on from that and choosing to move on with or without your partner is going to be the right decision for you. And if you are completely single, you are finally emotionally letting go of this bullshit and attracting new love. Okay. And I do see that coming in here for you. Um, we've just had the total lunar eclipse in the sign of Cancer on the 13th of July. It was a super moon. Um, and Cancer is all about your home and your foundation. Um, new moons that are this potent are all about cleansing, releasing, and letting go. Um, and Virgo, they're only, Cancer's only um, two signs from you. So you would have felt this quite strongly. Um, and then coming up to the July 28th full moon in Aquarius, you're, you're going to notice the completion of this negative cycle and the news going to start coming in. Okay. Around August. All right, so let's draw for you some additional guidance. Please show me additional guidance messages for the sign of Virgo in love from the 15th of July to the 31st of July. Thank you, Spirit. What does Virgo need to know? There it is. Okay. You've got base chakra. So your focus right now really needs to be on... Um, all things that are at your base, at your foundation, your home of where you live, your money. Um, what, what was I just talking about in terms of life purpose versus love? Like you can't give love until you're steady and secure in yourself. All right. So um, this is about activating your base chakra. For some of you, this is really, really important. A lot of people do work on their higher selves and do all this spiritual work and meditate, but they don't understand if they don't have the base, then you can't align energetically. Um, you know, the colors red, the sounds slam, the element is earth. It's part of your adrenal glands. The keywords are I have, but I'll read for you what it says. And there is a practice here about how you can activate your chakra. Okay. Known as the base or the root chakra, this energy center is situated at the base of your spine and is most closely related to all of your earthly issues, such as survival, the physical body, issues of money, sustenance, safety, and shelter. Physical movement strengthens this chakra. Walk, dance, work in the garden, do anything that will get you moving. By energizing this chakra, you strengthen your right to have and will be blessed with the loving and supportive relationships you truly deserve. Okay, Virgo, so that was your reading. I do hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. I am available again for personal readings. Um, so if this resonated with you, read below about how to book me for a personal reading and I can delve into it for you deeper. Um, I've also put up some references as well in the About Me section so you can read about the work that I've done with others. 
Okay, so thank you so much. I wish you love and light, um, and I'll be back with you in a couple of weeks. Take care.